Ad Britannas, 1918. Ye legions of England, supernal in glory, the sons of the mighty and lords of the main, awake to the luster, ballad, and story, and drench the torn earth with your enemies slain. Too long have we faltered in kindly illusion. Too long have we pleaded for justice and right. Too dim have we seen through a combat's confusion the death of our dreams and the triumph of might. Untouched by the centuries, softening finger, untaught by the delicate precepts of time, see the shade of Arminius defiantly linger and mock the soft world with his wassail of crime. Whilst we shrink in disgust at the carnage and clamor, and defend our loved ground in incredulous woe, hear the gay, ghastly swing of Thor's thundering hammer, as his children delight in each dastardly blow. Not a steeple or dome knows the Hun's veneration, not a relic or shrine can restrain his mad hand, not a scruple or law stems his wild profanation. As exultant he stalks through the sore stricken land. Tis the blood of the past that is raging within him, the hot blood of pillagers, ruthless and bold. The murderous madness he summons to win him, such a realm as would glad his stern fathers of old. Can we patiently stand in our honor and meekness, and hope to prevail against forces like these, when mercy is folly and pity is weakness, and black shrouded hate haunts the plains and the seas. What strength can we draw from our modest position? What watchword have we to inflame the slow mind? What passion of ours may reduce to submission the blonde beast of the barracks, the berserker and blind? Shall our ardor be stirred but by doctrine and sermon, by high thoughts of liberty abstract and grave? Shall we frown on the warlord but love each poor German who bows to his scepter, a glad, willing slave. Shall we cherish the monsters that slaughter and ravage, forgive their red sins and condone their dark plan? Shall we open their hearts to the fiend and the savage and name him our brother, our dear fellow man? Shall we lecture and wail at the tyrant's oppression with leaden hearts, labor the stem the black tide, shall we prate of the law whilst he glows with possession, nor avenge the mourned host? That have suffered and died, come rise, ye bold Britons, on victory's pinion. Recall the proud blood that leaps warm in your veins. Your country was fashioned for power and dominion. Your muse was created for high martial strains. Forget not your birthright of greatness and valor. Forget not the might that your fathers could wield. Forget not the foemen who trembled in pallor when Saxons and Normans appeared on the field. For our blood is the same. The vandals are vaunting. We too are the stout sons of Woden and Thor. Our past is their past. Let no fervor be wanting to expand us with pride and exalt us in war. When Hengist and Horsa, our blessed isle, ganged us, like feathers before us poor celts were blown. What native res resisted, what chieftain restrained us as we swept from the land every race but our own? Alphador smiled sweet on our fair flashing saber and roared with delight as we smote the base foe. He laughed as we vanquished each insolent neighbor, and drank deep to the health of the English longbow. So spring up again at the challenge of madness, to the ages proclaim that the past is not dead. Let the javelin be flung more in glee than in sadness, and a wild song of conquest lend wings to our lead. As our battle brave Beowulf Valiant and joyous, slew monsters and dragons that threatened his realm. So must we face the serpents that seek to destroy us. And with spirit as light, every fiend overwhelm. Let us 
redden each stream with the blood of our foemen, and gorge the lean wolves with the wretches we slay. Let the buzzards be hailed as a glad welcome omen, as they circle above us awaiting their prey. What is death to the hero of courage and spirit, whose soul to his country full loyalty gives? What Britain so base not to heed it, our fear it, if he knew that old England in triumph yet lives? See the sons of Britannia surge forth in their splendor from the dear native isle and the far distant shore. From the plains of Columbia, behold the defender, rise proud by the side of the mother once more. And the cloud-laden skies of the Valkyries are soaring and calling the brave to their long, blissful rest. On the struggle-scarred field, our stem urn legions are pouring, each hot for the fray and prepared for the test. So onward, bold Saxons, who carry behind ye a valorous heritage none can excel. May the shades of your world-winning fathers remind ye to rival their glories and battle as well. The rich history of the material that we operate by itself is not the reason for war. Is it inner or outer? that the threat is really for.